Hey everyone, welcome back to day two of our 12 days of Christmas. I am Trina, the owner and creator behind Diamonds and Dust. I hope you guys enjoyed day one of our 12 days of Christmas yesterday. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to join my Diamonds and Dust Facebook group with the link in the description as we will be giving away daily prizes over there. I'm excited to show you today's tutorial, so let's get started. Today we will be working on a 24 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia. Make sure you check the description below for a discount code. I have already cut out my template on this super cute snowflake vinyl and I am just applying the transfer tape securely on top. Once you have that done, you're just going to take the backing and fold that back about a half an inch tack that down to your tumbler and then while the rest of the backing is still on you're going to wrap it around and make sure the top and bottom line up straight that will make sure that your template lines will match up now you can remove just a little bit more of that backing and it will automatically roll off your cup as you press the vinyl on. Once you get all the way around, you're going to make sure that your transfer tape is lifted off of the beginning so you can make sure that your template lines up perfectly. Now remove the rest of your transfer tape and then you're going to look closely at your cup and see what sections you would like to remove of the template to add glitter. I removed these two thin sections first and then after I had that done, I just slightly folded the bottom overhang around the bottom rim of the cup. I am now going to mix some chalk paint or acrylic paint with a little bit of glitter glue and then I'm going to paint the sections we just removed of that template only a small section at a time and then while that glue paint mixture is still wet we're going to sprinkle on the color wild heart. Once you have those sections all glittered, find the next section you would like to add glitter to your cup. I am going with this section right here. And then once again, I'm going to mix some acrylic paint or chalk paint and some glitter glue. Fill that in and sprinkle on the color breezy while that mixture is still wet. Once your glittered sections are all dry, spray seal this cup really well a couple times and then add a couple layers of epoxy until your cup is smooth. This part right here is where you get to be creative. You get to stripe out this tumbler however you would like. I went with a combination of vinyl and nail striping tape I got on Amazon and I just decided to Add some pink vinyl V stripes in between each section and then I took the nail striping tape and also outlined every glittered section in that.
once you get all your vinyl and nail stripes laid down the way you would like, you're going to add another layer of epoxy. Now it's time to add your decal and today I'm going to show you how to use heat transferred vinyl on your tumblers. Just remember when you cut it out, it has to be mirrored. So I have cut my decal out here and I placed it on my cup where I would like it. I am taking my heat gun and I'm gonna warm up a section really, really warm. And then I'm going to take a paper towel just so I don't burn the crap out of my hands and I'm gonna press it down. You're going to do that over the entire decal and you're going to let that cool and then peel up the backing. Once the transfer tape type backing, which is actually on the front, <laughs> is removed. You're going to want to make sure before you layer anything on top of this that your cup is completely cooled or the vinyl will not stick. Now that your cup has cooled down, you can remove that, I keep saying backing because that's what it looks like, but it's really on the front of heat transfer vinyl, but I think you get what I mean. And then you can go ahead and layer on top of that with just regular vinyl. I just cut out, let it snow in white and layered that on top. Now you can add a final coat or two of epoxy until your cup is smooth. And here is our tumbler all finished. I would have to say this is probably one of my all time favorite templates I've ever designed. I love how versatile it is and how you can change up the look by just adjusting those stripes along with the creative freedom it allows. Don't forget, we also offer an exclusive printed straw that matches this vinyl perfectly. So don't forget to grab a few when you pick up your vinyl. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look for me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust.